I always get nervous right before the music starts. Like when I know it's my turn, when the performer before me walks off, I'm like, oh God, here I go. Like, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna forget my words. This is gonna be a shit show. I'm gonna fall down the stairs. Um, but once I hear like my name and then like the audience clap. Please show your love for Miss Amanda Kill. It gets better. Like once I hear the music, I'm like, cool. Once I walk out there and the spotlight hits me, then it's like all my fears and worries go away and I'm just here to have a good time. Drag to me is a form of self-expression. It's a form of freedom, creativity, and it's a place where you can escape the like day-to-day -day BS that goes on, the, the negative people, the negative things going on in the world. You can just escape, you get to create whatever you want to create, whatever you're feeling. It's an outlet for emotions as well as creative energy that keeps me sane. So for me, it was discovering a new medium of art. Because with my background in special effects, I like the prosthetics, I did like the character stuff. So I was good at that. Beauty was always an issue. Like, if you wanted to look like a cheap night walker, then hey, I got you, girl. Um, so it was more of a challenge for myself to try something new with the makeup. Um, I love RuPaul's Drag Race as well, Boulay Brothers, all that good stuff. So seeing it more mainstream, I was like, cool, let's like try it. I would do a lot of like Halloween and local haunts and stuff like that. October is when I thrive, just like any queen. Um, but I would just do random makeup at like 3 in the morning till 6 in the morning, post on Instagram, take three pictures, take it off and go to bed. It's just, it's very calming and very soothing for me to just paint whatever. Sometimes I look rough and sometimes I look glamorous. Day at the show, I usually work. Um, I work early mornings to like early afternoon, so I have time. Um, I'll come home. Some nights I have time to take a nap or like just chill out for an hour or two. Sometimes I just have to start, get going. Um, shower, shave, and then I start my face, which takes about an hour and a half. Um, then comes the padding, the wig, lashes, nails, if I decide to ever wear them, I don't. Um, and then I get to the gig, so all together about three hours of like prep time before going to the club and then like waiting for a little bit. My very first performance was last October. One of the people there that I became friends with, they dared me to do drag one night. And I was like, you have to do it with me. We're gonna compete and it's just gonna be a fun night. So I broke a heel mid song and I kept going and I lost. But it was so much fun. It was so much fun. That December, I got adopted into the House of D. Uh, my drag mom is Big D. She's does shows all over the place. Uh, Hamburger Mary's Velvet, Hamburger Mary's WeHo, um, Executive Suites, like anywhere and everywhere. She's a legend. You weigh four fucking pounds. How are you winded? <laughs> like, she actually was the headlining queen at Velvet when I started drag. So that's where I got to know her. I got to know all of them. Then I got adopted and started coming out to her shows here to support and see like the different realm of drag and like all the different artists compared to Orange County. Came up with the name one morning I was at brunch at the Gypsy Den in Santa Ana with my friend Ray and we were enjoying the bottomless mimosas, you know, having a good time. And I had been performing maybe three weeks and I hadn't had a drag name yet, so I was just spitting things off. And then Amanda Kill came up and I wanted something kind of spooky and then play on words like a man to kill or now I go by like I'm a man, duh. Yeah, so it's a, it's a whole a whole different uh, that, but I draw from Halloween, anything. She's a very spooky queen. And I had a uh, background for 10 years in special effects makeup before I started doing drag, so I like putting that in there as well and mixing the two. I feel like I'm 
able to be whoever I want when I'm her. Like, I get to just let loose and have fun, let go of the world for a moment, um, and play with a different part of my personality. Because a lot of it um, is I like playing in the femininity of it in the drag, and like I have always been an artist of sorts, so being able to do that, it just makes me, um, it makes me feel good, it makes me feel happy that it's well received because I'm putting my time and like my love into her and like building her up as the performer that I think she can be. And to see that she's coming along is, it makes me proud and then when I'm her, I'm like, <laughs> I'm a high class bitch. Sometimes it'll be a song that sets off the inspiration. Um, it'll be a movie. It'll be, I'll be watching like an 80s horror flick and someone might die and be like, I'm gonna be that victim and then make a mix to that. And then, yeah, uh, it's, it's wild. I can get inspiration from anywhere. Um, just hearing the music and just getting to perform and like shaking my fake boobs for people. It's a good time, honestly. And I love just going to the shows and just watching everybody lay their heart, heart out on the floor tip every performer, it's just, because I, I get the feel of it, like I appreciate it more now that I do it than I did before, and I'm like, I watch it, I'm like, that's your artistry, that's your truth, that you're living, and you're having fun doing it, and that's all that really matters. I mean, there are times where I've cried after shows because it was just, I put more into it than I got out of it. Um, people make me comments all the time, um, say you're not worthy, you're not talented, all that stuff, but then you have the people who will lift you up higher than anything and like praise you and like be true to you are, like true to you and like their feelings towards you. So um, it's, you, you just have to look past it. As long as you're putting in your heart into it and you're happy with what you're putting out, then that's all that matters. And there's always room to grow. You're always gonna get better with practice and that's all it's gonna take is practice. You're gonna get shot down a hundred times. You're gonna get told, um, but when you're like, hey, if you, like, if you need anyone for a show, like, I'm more than welcome. They're like, no, we're booked for the next year, see us next year, whatever, stuff like that. You'll get snobby people treating you poorly because you are a new queen, and you just have to realize it's because they see something in you that they don't have themselves. Um, obviously, we all want to make a career out of it in the end. Um, some of us want to become famous, some of us just want to be big in the local scene, like a hometown queen. Um, some of us just do it for fun, and if something big comes along, something big happens, and we get out there, then that's awesome. That's what I'm doing it as. Um, it's just, a, it, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I want to make a profession out of it, and that's what I'm aiming to do, but I just have a good time doing it. And that's, that's all that really matters to me.